Well, tonight a Wendell family is searching for a missing man. Yes, yeah, family told CBS 17's Lillian Donahue it is not like him to stop talking and not to show up, so they will keep searching for him day and night. Family and friends of Gregory Thomas said that he was supposed to meet a coworker around 6:40 in the morning Thursday, but he never arrived. He's not answered his phone calls or texts. Seems to have vanished, and now his family is asking for help in finding him. I called my mom back, and she said something's wrong. Lakita Hyman's brother, 30-year-old Greg Thomas, was driving in the pouring rain from Wendell to Raleigh to work at Comfort Monster Heating and Air on Thursday. Loved ones say he was last seen pumping gas in Wendell all before communication stopped. Completely turned off, like it was going straight to voicemail. Hyman says it's not like her brother to just leave. Absolutely not. He is probably a straight laced family guy as you can think. He's, I'm going to work and I'm going, he was a homebody. They reported him missing to the police and have since been searching nonstop. We are praying and hope that we can just locate him, find him, and bring us back to us. Family, his family. His three children. And the community has pitched in, liking and sharing his photo on social media thousands of times. The hurt, just the confusion is unbearable. His family is asking anyone or any business with cameras pointed at major roads between Wendell and Raleigh to look for Thomas's dark gray Honda Civic. Every emotion you can imagine has crossed all of our minds. His family said his phone last pinged this cell tower in East Raleigh. That's where his sister and friends say they'll keep looking. Endless miles, there's dirt and God knows whatever else on everybody's feet, hair, clothing. We've been everywhere that you don't want to imagine. The Wendell Police Department is taking the lead on this investigation. They're asking anyone with information to reach out. Reporting in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News. All right, Lillian, thank you.